So, Mr. Carmichael, tell me, how do you feel like dying today? Honestly, you're gonna make me decide? I find it says a lot about a man. I, d I, you know, I don't know. Can't you just pick something? I've got a lot on my plate right now. I what? Running your own company. It's just, you know, there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that. Not that I don't care about recovering spent nuclear fuel rods, because I do, but you got to keep your eye on the bottom line. And with missions, the bottom line is cash, man. You know, with all these private security firms out there, and I, I think maybe I'm coming at this the wrong way. Maybe Carmichael Industries needs a new hook, you know? Almost there, Chuck. You're very good at talking. Exactly. Any spy can sneak into a building and, 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 and snap a few necks, but what are we doing right here, right now? The two of us, we're talking about our hopes and our dreams. So you're spies that care. You're a genius. That's inspired. I'm going to use that. Can I use that? I'm glad I could help you, Mr. Carmichael. I think I'll start by cutting out your tongue. That would be a horrible idea. I would not want to do that, especially with such a blunt Drop object. Oh, my God. Chuck, are you OK? I think we just had a breakthrough, honey. Do you think it's OK to touch that without a radiation suit? It shouldn't be any worse than a couple dozen x-rays. We'll be fine as long as no one's pregnant. <laughs> uh, OK, Casey, I'm going to let you take that. Let's go.